So I think many people were probably surprised to see how many young people that we had in this competition. Uh, the, the sheer fact that we had universities and we had high school students doing this, uh, this level of work and, and those that made it uh, through knockout and into the finals uh, and two in particular race about in Western Washington University, I think that speaks volumes for uh, the kind of uh, schooling that they're getting, the kind of uh, dedication that they have and the know-how um, that they are bringing to the table here. It's just good for our students to learn how to do this, to go up against some of the best, most innovative uh, thinkers on the planet in, in automotive technology and so we just had to be here. We want to show the world that our students are capable of working at this high level and we want to make sure, even more importantly, we want to make sure the students have this very visceral experience. For these students this is the best possible environment I could have to educate them about what it takes. West Philadelphia, just a fun fact, West Philadelphia High School built the first hybrid sports car in the world. Yes. This is our second one. We run a summer program almost every summer to get these things up and running. So, you know, a lot of work, a lot of hours, a lot of manpower put into these vehicles. And it pays. We entered the Progressive Automotive X Prize primarily to show that high school students have, uh, have valuable ideas and that they can also offer a solution for 100 miles per gallon. Um, what's most important to us as educators is giving students opportunity. There's such a push right now to improve STEM initiatives, which is science, technology, engineering, and math. Okay. We're really trying to reinvigorate our classrooms and our students with uh, excitement about those topics so that we'll have tomorrow's engineers and uh, problem solvers and uh, innovators. Another prong of our U.S. Uh, Department of Energy funded education outreach is the Dash Plus competition, which was a project designed to have high school kids all over the nation design the dashboard of the future. So we never know, one of their ideas may make it to a dashboard near you uh, one day soon. I think my favorite part of this process was brainstorming the ideas, sifting through all of our sometimes wild concepts and seeing something created out of them. It was originally just a little sketch and a bunch of rough draft ideas and eventually we ended up with a very realistic, very green-centric design that will actually be able to potentially change the way drivers drive. When you give them the opportunity to really uh, have something to say and participate in, in coming up with solutions, um, it's a very empowering position to be in. I'm competing with uh, people from all over the world. We're the only high school in this competition and I'm being taken serious because I'm doing something that should be a part of the automotive industry in the future. Not a lot of young people might recognize it, but adults are always looking at young people because a lot of adults' hopes and dreams are invested in young people. Our students um, have come up with brilliant ideas, some ideas the automotive market's never seen. Kids think outside the box. And so when you, when you have a large venue like this, I think the creativity they bring and the way they approach problems is, are so different. Um, I think it's been really exciting to see what they come up with. It's been an incredible experience as a student, and uh, I'd do it again in a heartbeat. That kind of experience you can't get anywhere else, so I'm fortunate to have that. I, uh, I can't thank the organizers enough for, for doing the great job they have. I think we're thrilled to see uh, the legacy of the Progressive Insurance Automotive X Prize in the hands of these young students. Um, to think that they actually uh, can perform on par or at the level of uh, you know, global auto manufacturers, and uh, I think the future's in, in pretty good shape as a result. What I do have is the intellect to give them something new to think about. And from that thought, could we change? Yeah. I'm a poet at heart. <laughs> <laughs>